All finished. You know what? Why don't you take the first place? <laughs> I'll be sleeping in our old house, sir. Even 200 years after being nuked, it's still better than that shit. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? It's Johnny, and welcome back to Sunday Reaction. Today we got Fallout 4 parody by Sean Zaz. I think I'm, I'm naming that right or saying that right, but these men, I watched like 20 seconds of these, and they are hilarious. If you've ever seen Fallout 4, or played Fallout 4 rather, or Skyrim, you ready for these treats. Man, are you freaking <laughs> serious? Just keep your pants on. My damn lung cancer moves faster than you. Ugh. All right, fine. Any of this disappears, though. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're blaming me, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. actually. Yeah, I am. How, how did you... Yeah, I do a lot of drugs with Mama Murphy. <laughs> I can't. I love these, man. I hey, absolutely Trevor. love these. What can I do for you? Hey, Lucas. Just wanted to sell you this and get going. Sure, I, uh, I can give you 100 caps for that. <laughs> Are you serious? This is the free man's will. Do you even know what this is capable of? Look, we both know you're gonna take it, so... Dude, it's worth more than this whole shitty town. Hey, hey, it's not my fault your old man never leveled your speechcraft. Whoa, man, don't <laughs> even... Wait a second, did you mean charisma? Yeah, Speechcraft. I said. No, you didn't. You said... Yeah, I said charisma, okay, asshole? You gonna take the trade or not? Just, why can't you admit what you said, man? See, this is what I'm talking about. No speechcraft. I mean... <laughs> um, if you guys ever played Fallout 4 or Skyrim, oh, he's got a shit. Skyrim one too. I, I'm sorry. You know, I feel like I should have known better. The behemoth. But... Yeah, I mean, you've done that a couple times. You play Fallout 4, you're running through the wasteland, the Commonwealth, and there's a g just a gigantic behemoth. Our Lord Queen. Whoa. Uh, did did that? Whoa. What? Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. <laughs> I see what's happening here. It's like the same exact fucking game. <laughs> uh, Fall for parody episode two: Rules of the Wasteland. Love these. I cannot wait to get back into Fall Four. I've been recently playing Fall Four just here and there, and I saw this on YouTube and hit the guy up, and I was like, "Hey, can I react to this on uh, my channel?" He said, "Go for it." So. Get me back into the, the Fallout 4 mood. <laughs> All finished. Good for you, sir. So, what do you think? <laughs> oh, sir, it's so... Satisfactory <coughs> for the time being. Thanks, Codsworth. You know what? Why don't you take the first place? I'll be sleeping in our old house, sir. Even 200 years after being nuked, it's still better than that shit. <laughs> oh, God, I love it. I love it so much. A sensible way someone would avoid enemies in Martha Red School at all costs. Not you, though. Your other ways, two and a half hours trying to prove you're something to yourself. So true. So freaking true. Men are stupid and dumb and weak. I am strongest mutant there is. Ha! You wrong. I am strong as super mutant. No, I have minigun. Pah, rocket launcher much stronger than minigun. You take words back. Or what? Shut up. Both of you weak. I am strong as super mutant. <laughs> I have strongest weapon. What the? Where you get nuke. that? Well, I... Go put back. You're just jealous that I have strongest weapon, and I will smash humans with it. Oh, I get it. Because in the game, you saw people with those super... things, you could just shoot it from a distance, and it'd explode. That's what I did, anyway. That if not, they freaking charge you with them, and they try to explode in your face and kill you. You gotta sit back and then snipe them. I love this already. I love it. 
all this junk have him coming, it's all more important than finding your son. <laughs> Whoa! Well done, sir. Shh. There could be more in here. Well, if that's the case, sir, we'll school them too. Oh, I get it. Cause... Because we're in a school. So it's funny. Because it's ironic. Okay, would you just go loot him, please? Absolutely, sir. And make sure you grab those lamps, too. Ah, oh. You, you want both of those lamps? Yes, Codsworth. Is there a problem? Well, sir, uh, unfortunately, I... Well, I can't take a lit lamp. W wait a minute. You're telling me you can only loot a lamp that's not lit? Not lit. Well, probably. Because it's, you know, it's the truth. I mean, you run the through the time. world, what the you fuck can't are you pick talking up lit about? lamps, but you can only pick up lamps that are not lit, they don't or plugged in. They don't always make sense. Like, who even lit the thing? This place has been filled with ghouls for years. <laughs> okay, whatever. What about those chairs over there? I could really use the aluminum. Oh, um, no, but, uh, ooh, you can have this can. It's the truth. I thought, I, th I just, I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> Next. I love these so much. Lit lamp looting. They're so short, though. I wish they weren't as short. He's trying to get the lamp. Why can't I fucking root this thing? Episode three. Level 17, a little short on food, ammunitions, caps, or anything else vital to your survival. Well, look no further than your nearest trash can. It's true. You always found food or caps or ammunition in trash cans. Always. Ooh, he upgraded his little base thing. Okay, look, I know it still isn't much, but it's a start, and it's a home for people without one, right? Oh, I suppose you're right, sir. These days, it's all about coming together. So, you ready to fire this beacon up, buddy? Absolutely, sir. Let her rip. That's the spirit. All right, here we go. Well done, sir. Let this community be a shining example that mankind can again join hands and build a stronger future together. <laughs> well, sir, we tried. God. I'm freaking tired. This hand device is great necessary that accessory that allows you to track your inventory and play games, and of course. Alter the fabric of time. Bats. Fire alerts. <laughs> really, sir? What? A nuclear grenade for that? Oh, come on, Codsworth. Have a little fun. Fun? I enjoy vacuuming, sir. Perhaps a bit of scrapbooking. Okay. Sir, you didn't even leave any pieces to salvage. Would you just relax? I'm sure there's a few chunks around here somewhere. <laughs> See? <sighs> well, That's good gross. luck getting anything from... Ah, <laughs> uh, well, that's, um... <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, huh? What 
the f***? Why would a <laughs> crab even have an... And how did that even fit in a chunk Rules of... Rules of the Wasteland, Codsworth. Rules, Rules of, of the, the wasteland. wasteland. Try and keep up. <laughs> and by the way, did you just fucking bleep yourself? Oh man, I love these. You could build 20 twin terrace gauss comet cannons to defend your settlement, but there will always be that one asshole who gets himself kidnapped. Factual. Hacking. Protectron, ready to serve. How may I be of? What the hell? Happened. Fools. Uh oh. Oh shit. Wait. Ah. <laughs> oh fuck you, man. <laughs> Oh my god, I love these. What are you doing? <laughs> I am coming to rip your heart out with my grippy thingies. <laughs> oh my god, last one. Last freaking one. <coughs> oh, I love these. Rummer symbol minor beasts of burden. They are quiet, obedient, surprisingly fast, will carry more than their weight in salvage, thus making them the most amazing companion you'll ever have. Oh, you'll, you'll never have. Yeah, that's right. You never actually be, like, you're never allowed to have uh, caravans. Blow your mind. A Brahmin. Hey, Blue, there you are. Look, which headline do you like better? Radiation sensation sweeping the nation, or five fun facts about rad rejuvenation? Uh, I'm not really... I'm more leaning towards this one, to be honest. Radiation sweeping the nation might be sending the wrong message, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Hashtag too soon. <laughs> hey, Piper, are, are you okay? Oh, yeah, Blue. I'm great. Honestly, I've never felt better. Okay, because you know you're glowing, right? Aw, thanks, Blue. Nope, it's not a metaphor. You're literally glowing. Have you... Oh, wow. What did you do? Well, it's kind of a long story, but what? basically I was working on a report about the harmful effects of radiation. Okay. The more we understand it, the better, right? I mean, it usually kills you or turns you into a snarling hunk of beef jerky. Right. Radiation is generally dangerous. Well, that's what I thought too, right? But then my research lied me to the children of Adam. Oh, no. I know they're crazy, but radiation doesn't seem to affect them like it does every other people's. I mean, they life in the freaking ground zero crater, Blue. Piper, wait. I I think you need some help. No, listen. Dude, look radiation at her face. Radiation isn't necessarily bad. We've just been overacting with it wrongly. Oh, Piper, it's all bad. What I learned stirring my research <laughs> was life-changing. Oh, it changed your life, all right. Come on, purple. <laughs> just think of how many coupons we could save. <laughs> yeah. I... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta do one more, man. Last freaking one, part four. I love them, dude. They're so good. Uh, level 29. What survives in the atomic bomb, a post apocalyptic war zone, and over 200 years of harsh weather? These stupid, freaking stupid monkeys. I hate those things. They'll always be in the freaking room clapping them. Bing, 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 bing. Hey, buddy. Huh? Yeah, you remember me, don't you? Wait, now he's got freaking. Whoa, whoa, don't worry, big guy. I'm not gonna, like, rip your toe off or anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, come on. Give me a little more credit than that. Oh. I mean, what would I even do with it, right? Oh, my God. Radiation can cause burn, serious illness, cancer, and even death. It also. It can also kind of make you immortal. Level 32. Yeah, he like, puts these little things in like their, like their loading screen. Really nice. Oh, that's Good touch. Nice. Yeah, whatever. Oh, hey there. Uh, me? Yep. You mind if we trade some things real quick? Uh, yeah, sure. All right, great. What did you, uh, 
Uh, um. Settler. Whoa, whoa, hey, wait. You just uh, take all yeah? our stuff. You, you didn't trade anything. You just. That's how I do on my settlers, shit. too. Oh. All right, man. Just uh, take everything. Here, I've got something for you. Whoa, what the hell? Now <laughs> it's my last one, so, you know, don't spend it all in one place, pal. <laughs> hey there. Do you mind if we uh, trade some things real quick? Yeah, sure thing. Oh, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, if I don't really care about your armor, that tire iron will turn you into a popsicle, and that wrench will set your ass on fire. War never changes. Oh man. Oh thank god. Oh thank god you're here. Thank god. Oh hey, calm down. Are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. No. No, I need your help. Okay, well, tell me what's wrong. It's my friend and stuff. You, you see, she broke her arm, and, and now it don't work so good. Uh huh. And now he can't really, like, walk on it and shit. Ah, uh, I see. If he see, tries his to hand? get, like, to safety and, and move... Well, she can make it worse for himself, right? Right. And, exactly. And, and... And then there's the children to consider, I'm sure. Yes! Kids are there, and... And they, they got all broke shit, too, so... So if you could just follow... Okay, let me stop you right there. I don't know how smacked out of your mind you are right now. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty... Zoo <laughs> I just want to ask, are you 100% sure you want me, a heavily armed and armored fucking war machine, <laughs> to help your friends? Yeah, pretty sure. Um, you got any chems? A few, I guess. Then, yep, yep. follow me. <laughs> Let's go! She's all messed up on some freaking chems. Like jets or something. Bertha. Damn it, Janice. Janice. Makes sense. I almost said Bertha. Wait. Is part five this continuation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the last one. Because this will continue. This will finish up this little part. It's all about a minute and 35 seconds. <laughs> You're so dead now, you loser. No, no, not not dead. Oh, this bad. No, no, no. This, this he has is a just all freaking T51. Oh, this is worse than when she brought the death claw. You're not helping. And there were eight of us then. Whoa, whoa, Wait, whoa, what the hell? What the? Whoa, hey, hey, what, what are you doing? <laughs> He's using vats oh, on him. Shit. Oh, I fucking hate you, Janice. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, you, you made your point. I've changed. I've changed. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Face, man. <laughs> huh? Oh, okay, that, that's fair. Oh, now, just, just wait a minute. Oh, what? That's just cruel, man. What's going on? Whoa, okay, uh, okay, man. Look, the arms are good. I, I don't even need my arms. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Oh my god. That's it. Alright, everybody. This was the Fall for Parody by Sean Zaz. All the stuff will be in the description below if you guys want to check out his channel and watch the full series. He's also got Skyrim and a couple other like odds and ends and other games as well. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends as always. Guys, my name is Johnny, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for a new video. Look out for me, myself, and I. Look out for me, myself, and I